with a little cock cockerel with a little chicken. <laughs> Look, it's a little little thing. <laughs> oh man, am I blushing? Hello, I'm Gav, welcome back to my show. Although tonight, since I'm being a, an interior decorator, you can call me Gavoir, that's G-A-V-O-U-I-R. And tonight, we are continuing on with the 1964 Irwin Interior Decorator set. If you remember a few episodes back, episode 67? No, 64? 76. 76, I'm so mixed up with my shows. Episode 76, you'll see when I did the first one, when I did the split level living and dining. So tonight we're going to do the kitchen and for example, I did show these last time but I've got some Australian Home Beautiful magazines and House and Garden and um, I just wanted to show you that kitchen there and then this is a kitchen in the book from 1964. You can see the very similar look. I really love this wall panelling, but I don't have that. So just to show you like the real 1964 or artist's impression of, that's what they did back then. Because there was a lot of black and white. Some colour, mainly in the advertisements, funnily enough, which there were a lot of, but I love going through these books. So tonight we're doing the kitchen and Oh, thank you to all my new subscribers. There's been a lot of new subscribers lately. Thank you so much. And a little shout out to Gino in Brisbane. Hello, he's a local boy. Does some amazing stuff with Lumbee dollhouses, I must say. I'm gonna try and get some photos off him and show you. So, hi Gino. So, okay, so the kitchen. I've done the floor, put up the wall panels, and I've chosen some, well, the framing actually, and chosen some, some wall panels to go in. So I'm going to go with this, it's the, a look like of a laminate, like a laminate panelling on either side there. And I'm going to put a window in. And this panelling is like a feature wall, which was on the back of the blue. I know as a kid, our house had this similar stuff in the bathroom, actually. So that'll be the feature wall. And this little back part, so you can make the rooms as big or as small as you like. So I've moved it up and I could either just ignore it and just have a smaller kitchen, or I'm actually gonna do a little ensuite, a little bathroom ensuite. And I'm going to have that this like blue laminate look. Because I'm going to do the major part bathroom probably next episode, but this is just going to be a little tiny ensuite. And these panels slide right in behind the others. Like that. So now the furniture. Here are oh, Penny, sorry, Penny's in the way. She's positioned herself for the night. So here's some kitchen props. That's what we need to do is break the stuff. So all this cool kitchen stuff. And the fridge. I'm just gonna pull all these out. I don't know what that is. And this is the bathroom here, actually. In that really cool, um, I can't remember that color, it's completely escaped me. So we'll do that next time. So, okay. So of course with these, these benches here, you can pull out the cardboard, well you can see what's on the other side. You can either have the plain wood paneling, or you can have this cool like country orange in a way. So I'm going to leave it that orange. The others are like that as well. 
those, oops, they just pull out. You could have, have it like that if you wanted, but that's kind of silly. And that bolt pokes back in. So we've got, that's upside down. That's the sink. And this is the stove top that just sits on the top there. Now we can kind of put that there and that there in front of the window. So it's really just this part of the window. And that's the oven. No, that's not going to work. Because I was going to put the fridge there. Because, see, I want to use this servery. I was going to put that there like that. But you can't when the oven is there. How did I do it? A few moments later. So I'm putting the fridge there. We've got this double sink and the stove top and the oven. And just this bench top. We're just going to put here because that will go there but we're going to put some cupboards up here which are these with these panels again now, excuse me for one moment so i put these cupboards in at the top here and the shelf right in the middle there that's a little servery we can put Kind of right there. Now figure out what that is. That's for an underbench. If you just want a little underbench fridge, that goes onto a sort of in front of the stove like that, clips on. But I'm not doing that. So that's the basic look of the the um, kitchen as we're doing it. But of course we need furniture and accessories. And what's the rule? The ability to accessorize is what separates us from the animals that's right so we'll start with kitchen furniture well it's kitchen like tables now there is this one or this one which are both very funky now if you're seating more people that, that's taking up a lot of room i'm more inclined to go that way oh, i forgot to show you this you could put a red panel on top or the wood grain. Same with this. You could have wood grain if you wanted. Now, unfortunately with this set, even though I've got a lot of pieces and it's the most complete set I've ever seen on eBay, it was still missing a bit. Like for example, I only had these two mismatched matched chairs that would really suit. But I wanted the same color, so I'm thinking of maybe putting those here and these are lumbi chairs and i'm just checking the lump uh, that's a tomy smaller homes table that comes in the, the kitchen set and i'm kind of liking that are those chairs too small for that table a few minutes later now i've had decorators dilemma um i was going to use this and the lumbi chairs but they are too small. As you can see, they're too short and it's shorter than the servery counter here. So I've decided not to use them. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to have mismatched chairs, but it's just gonna be a very funky, modern 60s take. Although to me, that kind of looks more 70s, but that's okay. It's 1964 and we'll use these stools. Now, the accessories, what I was going on about. Uh, no, first I'm going to do the little, I'm going to use the toilet and the double sink. Where is that silver tap? So around to the little, the half bath. <laughs> Have to put this little tap back on. Such small fiddly pieces with this set, really. No choking hazards, hazards in 1964. <laughs> so this double sink, I've got these two chrome legs. 
Now that is a snapped there, but it still goes in. Now, if you think, maybe someone might look through the window and have a bit of a sneaky peek. Well, I'm gonna put a palm in. And this little panel, which I still don't know what it's for, but I'm just gonna use it as a little divider. There you go. Tiny little bathroom. Okay, now to accessorize. Now it came with these cute little pieces, all for the kitchen. So, little fry pan on the stove. Now that was a lamp base in the last episode I did, but it's just gonna be a vase in this one. That's a little radio. I don't know if you can see that there. With the little cock cockerel <laughs> little chicken. <laughs> Look, it's a little little see? Oh man, am I blushing? Okay. And I think Put the radio up here. <laughs> now that looks like, it either looks like a cutting board. I don't know, but there are these three little things here which look like candles. So they may go here. There, there could also be canisters, which makes more sense actually. And there's a plate. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even have, have giant man hands and it's, it's a nightmare. Put the vase. See, it's on this rotator, which is very delicately balanced. And I don't know what that is, but it'll go up there. What else have we got to go in? Um, I do have a little picture of ducks, but there's really nowhere to put it. It'll be too squished if I do. But I do have a pot plant on top of the fridge. <laughs> You see, I'm laughing because on the inside, I'm screaming, but it is fun. It's really fun. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it is good. And I've got a little cake. We can put that little cake somewhere there as well. And look at this little vintage packet of Lux Flakes, which is really for the washing machine, but I'm gonna just leave it up here near the sink, because 1964, they could have still used soap flakes. I still do have a little phone here. That phone's a little too heavy. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Now, look at this little miniature life magazine with Marilyn Monroe on it. 
I put that in because she died in 1964 and this is a 1964 set, so it might be fitting that this is lying around on the counter. And look, we've got a little sausage dog. And there's some little salt and pepper shaker thingies. I don't need that. I could put some bottles of grog. I'm just going to do one because I know it's going to destroy. And let's not forget one of our gals with her sunnies on in the kitchen. And she's got a broom that matches all of her accessories. She's supposed to be leaning on the back fins of, of like a 1958 Cadillac or something. But instead she's got a broom because it's 1964. That's the only reason why I'm putting her with a broom because it's 1964. She's having a bit of a sweep. After she's had a few hits of her cold medicine which is 98% alcohol. She's having a great day. So, <laughs> so there we go. I've finally done the uh, the kitchen. How do you th what do you think it looks? How What do you think? That table's crooked because it's Just let me fix that. I don't like the mismatched furniture, but we just have to go with that. I will be on the lookout on eBay for something similar. And the little bathroom. It's a lot of fun. Even with my clumsiness, it is a lot of fun and well worth it. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be coming back with probably the full bathroom or a bedroom in the near future. Um, thank you and good night. <laughs>